All right, man, peace. So, brothers, this is going to be volume one in a new series that I'm starting called Never Fight Over a Woman. And maybe the series will be called Proverbs 23, 27, Never Fight Over a Woman. Because I believe that it's Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, and round about the 27th verse where it states, A whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. What does that mean, brothers? That's talking about when you try to frolic around with the next man's woman. That's what that verse is speaking about in reference to the term strange woman or a whore. When you decide that you're going to try to go back and forth with another man's woman. And in this context, at least in this video, the context is going to be your quote unquote ex. When she has decided to move on to the next man, you're going to fall into a narrow pit and a deep ditch. What is that in reference to? That entails trouble that you're not going to be able to get out of. That's what the scriptures mean by a deep ditch or a narrow pit. When you fall into those type of situations, you're not going to be able to climb out of them. I hope that you brothers understand that, that there is no woman on the planet Earth worth fighting over. Once again, if you're walking down the street with your lady, your wife, your woman, your girl, whatever you want to call her, and someone jumps out from an alley or around a corner and you have to defend your honor and your woman's honor, from that other person who's trying to harm you or her or your children, God forbid, that's one thing. But when you wake up one morning and your phone has a text message on it that says it's just not working out and you're you're flummoxed, you're confused, you're bemused, you have no understanding. There's no rhyme or reason to why she has, quote unquote, decided to leave you and you catch her out in the street two weeks later, a month later, and she's with the next man. Do not run up on her and that next man and try to engage in an altercation and fisticuffs and a verbal confrontation, anything of that sort. She is not worth it. We're living in modern day Babylon. The vast majority of these females are harlots in their heart and in their spirit. It's okay. Chapters close and new chapters are written every day in your life. You're supposed to be spending the vast majority of your time on this earth, on this plane of existence trying to improve your overall prudence, your sense of understanding of what's going on around you, your knowledge and wisdom is extremely essential. And you're not going to be able to accrue any of those things by chasing after these $2 whores out here. And the vast majority of them are $2 whores. I don't give a damn who don't like that. All right. It's very important that you brothers grasp that. And that's why I have these series like Black Man Protect Your Seed. Because when you decide that you're going to ejaculate into these random women because they have a fat ass or big breast disease, nice lips, tight coochie, whatever. Those little carnal reasons that you decide to want to lock a chick down and she turns on you. It's not that she's turning on you. It's that she does not respect how you moved, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. She does not respect that you decided that you were going to value her just for her sex game. She has the mindset of a female praying mantis. She received your sperm or your seed, whatever you want to call it. She's going to kill you and move on to the next. Brothers, it's very important that we know when things are over. Many of these females are carrying around more baggage than Delta Airlines. Leave them alone. They're the next nigga's headache. It's okay. But don't run up on those two in the street. You see your so-called ex-female, ex-wife, baby mama with the next man. And now you decide that you want to get all rah-rah with it. Because you never know what this nigga has in his waistband. And is it worth it for you to lose your life over a whore? I promise you that it is not. So anyway, they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. New tonight, not far from that fire, a deadly shooting right inside a subway station. Shots rang out at the 167th Street station in the Concourse neighborhood around 630. Sources tell CBS2 a man was shot and killed after he got into an argument with his ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend. Hey, brothers, you hear that? This dude ran into his quote-unquote ex-girlfriend and her quote-unquote new boyfriend, meaning new dick, meaning the dude that she was probably fucking around on him with when he was trying to figure out how come he couldn't get any ass and she always had an excuse why she couldn't see him and she was always trying to argue with him. He was at an impasse and trying to discern and decipher what was going on in her mind. Brothers, in the mind of the liberal woman, it's not that difficult to figure out what's going on. It's always about her. If you're ever at a point where you're like, what is going on within the head of my woman? I promise you, whatever it is, is all about her. The woman in general is a narcissist. She is a self-worshipper. She goes according to her whims. That's why you're not supposed to get caught up in their meanderings. 
let her go if she decides that she wants to experiment in different ways with different people. But I promise you that for the most part, when they start to detach from you and they're no longer in the infatuation phase with you, they're trying to get infatuated with someone else. That's okay. You're supposed to be infatuated with the Most High. You're supposed to be infatuated with spiritual things that are going to raise your overall level of understanding because you don't reach your fullness as a man in regards to your overall living situation, your mentality, your outlook on life until you're in your mid-30s. And that's very unfortunate, but that's an offshoot of growing up in this society where so many young men are not the beneficiaries or the recipients of real teachings in their childhood or in their adolescence because they're being raised by women. So they're learning on the fly throughout their 20s and 30s. That's why I always state, you're going to make the vast majority of your mistakes from the age of 15 to 35. It's one of the reasons why I make these videos so that hopefully a lot of you brothers out there, and as I always state, my channel is a pro-truth channel geared towards the so-called black man. I'm gonna say it again, my channel is a pro-truth channel geared towards the so-called black man. It's very important that cats grasp that from the age of 15 to 35 is when you're gonna make your most important mistakes that might change your life. And 95% of the time, the mistakes that you make are going to involve a woman. Okay, they're going to involve a woman. When we go through the scriptures, the vast majority of great men fell because of their weakness or their vulnerability to a woman, whether it be Adam and Eve, Samson and Delilah, David and Bathsheba, Solomon and his 1,000 wives. And in none of those situations was it the woman's fault. It was always the man's fault because he was supposed to know better. And that was in a time of wisdom. Now we're in a time of darkness. So that's why you see so many men here, not even just the so-called black men, but men, period, are being washed over. They're being inundated with false propaganda to make them believe that the woman is of a grander scale than she actually is. The woman really is a very basic thinker. There are certain circuitous routes that the woman takes in order to fulfill her lust, but she is a lustful thinker. She moves according to the lust of the flesh and the lust of her eyes. Always keep that in mind. That's why she has to broadcast herself all the time and advertise herself in the form of figure fitting clothing or form fitting clothing. She has to advertise herself in that way in order to get validation from the outside world. You're not supposed to be trying to get validated from the outside world. One of the ways that low level thinking dudes try to get validation from the outside world is running up on their ex with their new man and trying to start a confrontation. I promise you it is not worth it. The woman did you a favor. 95% of these modern day liberal females are going to die by themselves unless they can find a simp who's going to feel sorry for them as they get older or who is going to be receptive to all of their bullshit. Because there is so much bullshit that comes along with being in these quote unquote so-called modern day relationships that you have to have a high degree of tolerance or be extremely blessed to be with someone that actually is semi-mature in some way and there are brothers out there who have been blessed in that way and that's a great thing but in all reality for the most part the vast majority of you brothers are going to have to deal with these scalawags for lack of a better term so do not get caught up in the bullshit like this brother out here got caught up ended up trying to run up on his ex-girl with her new man and got blown away there is no pussy worth any of that bullshit so this will be an ongoing series. Once again, it says, man shot to death at 167th Street subway station in the Bronx. That was his last day over some old pussy. It ain't worth it. I receive a lot of questions from cats asking me how to get over breakups, how to get over soul ties, things of that nature. And I'm going to start a series called Responding to Your Emails. But let me say this for a lot of you brothers out there. The best way for you to get over a breakup or to move past someone that you were quote unquote in love with is to not allow yourself to fall in love with a person in this society in the first place. It makes no sense for you to do that. Falling in love with any of these average modern day females in this Babylonian society that we live in is equivalent to taking a bus ride and trying to stay on the bus even when you get to the last stop. It makes no sense. Either you're gonna have to get off the bus or they're gonna have you removed. These relationships are temporary. Everything in the flesh is temporary. When you're at the point where you're going through a quote unquote breakup and you're feeling very bad about it, 
that means that you have to spend a lot of time by yourself engaging in what meditation studying of the scriptures praying to the most high that you can reacclimate recalibrate your mind in some way shape or form to something that is helpful beneficial constructive as opposed to being destructive harping on something that is in the past that is not going to come back in 99 out of 100 situations when these relationships are no longer reparable they're going to leave they're not going to come back once again she is the next nigga's problem the vast majority of these females 95 percent of them i promise you are going to die by themselves focus on the third and fourth dimension of comprehension and how you can please higher things not on how you can please a woman or reclaim something that is not going to be reclaimed okay many of these females rejoice in the ability to be able to quote unquote break down a man through the quote unquote makeup breakup dynamic i've touched on this issue numerous times on this channel it's essential that when you see the female starting to go into that zone that you nip it in the butt immediately and you cut it off because that is what they're going to do for the most part they're extremely toxic so when you see yourself going into that zone of depression or downcast you have to try to pull yourself together in some way and make sure that your brain is on the wavelength where it's supposed to be you're not supposed to allow yourself to quote unquote fall in love with a woman that's equivalent to allowing yourself to become addicted to something like alcohol or drugs that's a sign of weakness you love your woman when you're with her love is loyalty and sacrifice but in order for you to, to be loving and to be able to sacrifice yourself in a way that is beneficial for yourself you have to have balance you have to know how to love yourself before you love anybody else and that means not putting yourself in harm's way by opening up your spirit to a human being you open up your spirit to the most high this is not an orderly society i cannot stress that enough so so many black men have been broken down by the overall architecture and the layout of this society on a on a social scale meaning how we interact with others what is the paradigm for interaction between the male and the female and for the most part it is dysfunctional that's why you'll notice that when you see a man and a woman arguing in the street people automatically assume that they're in some type of relationship if you were to see a man and a woman arguing at work what's the first thing that people say oh they must be fucking but what does that really mean that means that in this society people associate arguing with being in a relationship as opposed to people hugging and loving and kissing on one another they associate arguing and toxicity with a relationship in this society so it shows you how people are programmed but I'm going to be expounding on this in other videos quote unquote how do you get over a relationship or how do you get over falling in love with someone that's very dangerous it's almost like saying how do you move past a car crash <laughs> the best advice to recover from a car crash is not to get into one obviously but we'll be delving into that as I've already stated in other videos police are looking for the couple dude said police are looking for the couple <laughs> they have some motel six somewhere boning each other's brains out trying to figure out how they going to escape this one that's all it's about she probably left old boy to move on to the new dude because he was more of a thug i.e more of an agent of chaos and that's always a major component in these relationships especially in the quote-unquote black community or in the quote-unquote hood aspect of of what they call black culture or indigenous culture whatever you want to call it but at the end of the day brothers none of these broads are worth all this drama make sure that you put yourself first because i guarantee you they're putting themselves first and most of these females even when they're in the infatuation stage they still have other dudes that they fucking they just are very excited by being with you for the moment okay these women have smartphones and they have cars so that's the recipe to get a lot of dick all, ac all across the you know the tri-state area as they call the new york connecticut new jersey area or some of you guys who might be out in the midwest these bros they go across state lines to get some dick okay that's how they do they keep their options open until they get too old to have open options your option should be to put the most high first and to put your own sanity first there is no one on the planet earth 
that is worth the subjugation of your peace of mind. Always remember that. But anyway, peace.